Welcome back, everybody, to the Collider Walking Dead recap show. We are officially back. Woohoo! What an episode to come back to. So much to talk about. So much happened tonight. It's probably the best episode for me so far of the Ooh. new part of the Whoa. season. I enjoy the heck out of this because I like anything with confrontation on television. It's so Whoa. much fun. Right. We got we got to know Jesus a little bit more. We got to a new settlement. We got stuff going on with Abraham. We don't know what's going on with that Sasha and Rosa situation. There's so much to talk about. And then we have Gregory. And then, of course... The fabled Negan got mentioned. So there's so much to talk about. Uh, but first, let's get, let's go around the table and introduce everybody. Hey, I'm John Roca. And to my left... Hey, guys. What's up? I'm Quinn Marie. I'm super excited to be back. Woohoo! <laughs> and to my right here... I'm so happy to be back as well. Cohort's okay. What's up, guys? Walking Dead. Walkers for life. <laughs> <laughs> to the, all the way to the right. <laughs> no, I mean, we're back, guys. <laughs> oh, stop it. No, I'm so You're excited. excited. <laughs> Are you too distinguished? No, I mean, uh, guys, I'm wearing a tuxedo. Yes. Just call me uh, Bond. Rick Grimes Bond. <laughs> right, well, you look really good. Thanks, you look good. Appreciate that. It's like you were watching the Oscars or something. Yeah, something like Maybe. that. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. you guys know how the show works. We talk about what we liked about the show. We talk about what we didn't like about the show. And then we answer some of your Twitter questions at the end. Please always do them with the hashtag Collider Walking Dead so that we can read them on the show and, uh, you know, get your answers. Um, all right. So let's just get going. Uh, Quinn, start us yes. off. Um, You've been dying for the show to come back. Quinn, what did you like about this episode? I'm super excited. Well, before, I, I are we going to just talk really quickly about the, the yeah, previous okay, let's episodes? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's talk okay, about the previous two episodes since we weren't on the air for that. Just Quinn, 30 seconds. Go. Just go. real fast. The first <laughs> episode back was yeah. awesome. It was amazing. Uh, when Daryl blew up those people, I got real happy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, it's lit the a canal on fire. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It was the Daryl, Rick, Glenn, you know. Holy Trinity in my heart again. It was like Daryl Hall right. and Rick Oates. And Glenn. Oh, dear. And Glenn saving Maggie. It's always those yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. three can do no wrong my stuff. For you kids uh, under 20 years old, there was a group called Hall and Oates oh, back yeah. in the 80s. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. He you should get the reference. Private eyes are watching you. Um, I'm, I, really quickly, I know my 30 seconds is up. Um, I will say that I am on the fence still with Rishon. That's all I'm gonna say about yeah, it. Yeah, the Rick, the and, the Rick and Michonne Rishon. thing. That was that was an interesting thing in the last episode. Yeah. I, I wasn't. I'm not 100 percent on board with it just yet. Not because I got an issue with them getting together. Just, I didn't feel it was earned in the show just yet. Yeah. So I hear you. Uh, what do you think? Karen? I mean, um, overall, the past uh, previous episodes. I think the return, the mid season premiere, was my favorite one Amazing. of the three. Okay. I mean, it had deaths and blood and the people that bothered me are gone thank goodness that family was kind of like a <laughs> yeah that family was a good ball and jam, yeah. you know? dead. other kid dead <laughs> what? Dead. dead dead and and you know as, as sucky as it is that carl lost his eye it, it gives him grit it yeah. gives him like oh carl now he's not he's he's grown up man yep. so he yeah. loses an eye but he still keeps that hideous haircut yep. wow well, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I would keep the You would think it'd be, the haircut could get, would be worse would be like, because without the eye, like he, he could go hipster full. shave on the side. Right. They, they blew his eye to shave the rest of his head. And it's like, let's even it out and give him yeah. a real haircut. He looked like the weekend. I will say, though, <laughs> yeah. I am on, I'm I'm getting closer to being on Team uh, Rashon. You are? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. From this episode, Power couple. which we'll talk about in a second. Yeah, I agree with you. It was yeah. it was nice. What do you, Josh? I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle. I love that first episode. I mm -hmm. loved all the death. I love how uh, the, the Negan thing was sort of taken care of and yeah. how uh, Alexandria is rebuilding itself. I really liked that. Um, I, you know, the the Rishon thing. I'm somewhere in the middle. Uh, I, I feel like it's sort of like when you were friends with somebody in high school, right? And everybody's like, "You guys should get together." Like you and Tracy would be perfect. Then you and Tracy hook up, <laughs> and you're like trying to force a relationship, and then it's just like, eh, I don't know, it wasn't the, the best. I don't think yeah. we ever thought, "Oh, they should get together. They should yeah. get together." What I think a lot of people did. If you ever read Twitter, like Rishon is a legit. Mm -hmm. Rishon well, was trending for a long time. Yeah, right. and for those those who've read the comic books, Not that Twitter, it does happen in the comic, in the comic books. books right. it happens, but yeah. it doesn't happen as quickly. So that's the thing that I that I that I'm still on the fence about a little bit mm -hmm. myself too because I'm like it doesn't feel like it was earned in the show just yet how but would you earn it like you don't have time it's the well, apocalypse you well, just need to well, we just haven't yeah, seen yeah but we any. got Jesse. we got Jesse earned all last season and look with, what happened to her yeah well still well, I mean but she was had, she had exchanged man. looks he killed her husband there was all <laughs> stuff I mean, going on but we legit her. haven't seen any sexual tension in no, this show no. between that in like between two and a half seasons and that's what I'm saying yeah yeah yeah. So the fact that it just like came out of nowhere was, I think, what shocked a lot of us. Yeah. Isn't that lovely about love? Sometimes things come out of nowhere. Oh, Lord. All right, Jesus. It's Here not bubble. Go. Boy, I missed that. Anyway, uh, we'll <laughs> well, the, the other thing that I... I, I Coffee meets zombie? I, I thought the killing... <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Coffee meets zombie. I thought the killing of the family was interesting because we had followed them all through that season and, uh, the, and the year before and seeing how they got into the community, how they ingratiated mm -hmm. themselves in the community. Mm -hmm. And then we saw the Jesse situation happening and then him becoming almost like the pseudo-father. And then we thought, 
the kid was going to kill Rick, possibly, yeah. or kill Ron, Carl. Yeah. Ron, yeah, was going to kill him. And then all of them died, which was yeah. mad Real insane. fast. Yeah. Yeah. Huge surprise does. value. Right, but yeah. that's what Walking Dead does, does so well, yeah. right? Yeah. Michonne murdered that kid. Yeah, I totally did. Like, well, straight up. Totally. Awesome. That was amazing. Yeah. Maybe that's, I mean, I think everyone was like, thank you, Michonne. Yeah. We appreciate yeah, that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it was interesting to see that play out. And then now we've got, and then we had the introduction of Jesus. In the last episode, it was mm -hmm. an awesome introduction. Once again, for people who've read the comic books, Jesus is a pretty awesome character. So to see him coming up in this way. I compared way, him to sort project. of like a street magician. Like he came out of nowhere. <laughs> he's a badass. You're like, I, this guy, I didn't expect yeah. this guy to be a sick ass fighter. And then right. all of a sudden, and, but all of a sudden, you know what's great about the show is that the casting works so well. Because yeah. when Jesus is introduced, I'm like, you know what? I trust this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, you I, did. Initially. I did. I, even I from trust the fight. him as soon as it's he's. because of his dreamy eyes. He's like, he's like, he's a chair Really? <laughs> 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 Totally Jared Leto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally Jared Leto. Yeah, His supernaturally yeah. straight hair. Yeah. yeah. In in the apocalypse. Right? In the zombie no. apocalypse. If it was crimped, I'd be like, dude. <laughs> sick. He's got an ombre. Yeah. <laughs> if you got time to get a hairstyles in the zombie apocalypse, I don't think you're doing it right. Yeah. I just don't think you're doing it or right. Or he's doing it very right. Oh, it's uh, like yes. in the rock. It's like, I don't care if you kill me. I just care if you like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jesus is working with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so is so no, no, no. I think okay. I think that that like led to th th this episode is a perfect crescendo to what I think we're like getting to next. Yeah. Yep. Agree. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like The Walking Dead works like a, a heart monitor, right? It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Like so we totally. build, build, build and then it drops right. and then we're like get and then but it drops. I'm si I got to say like the last three episodes ever since we came back to the mid season for now, it has been just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I don't yeah. disagree. Very yeah. I've liked everything. I like um, what I liked in this episode is. I like when the group gets together to go on missions or when, whenever the group is all together uh, or there's a big... You feel good. I feel yeah. really yeah. like good. I feel like safe. I yeah. feel like, you know, nothing that terrible can happen. And I don't know. I, I didn't see Carol at all in this episode. So that, that was a little... Yeah, oh, she's yeah. been kind of absent yeah. um, in the second... But the rest in the, of the group since they come back. Yeah. I mean, we saw her last episode and was doing stuff yeah. uh, underground. It was a Maggie-heavy like, episode, which they yeah. haven't done. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Uh, since they've been back. Which Rick referenced, which I thought was Carol great. Carol was really heavy in that first episode. Right, that's so what I'm saying, with yeah, Morgan yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But then she kind of has disappeared the last Correct. two episodes a little bit. Like Morgan and, and, and Carol weren't even invited on this road trip. Right, yeah, right. Which kind of shocking to Well, you need to leave somebody back to protect. I actually, I got to mention, that was one of my favorite lines as well. When Carol said to Morgan, "You did that for yourself. You didn't do that for the group." I was like, "Yes, that's exactly what happened." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Yep. True. I mean, so anyway, this episode's called "Knots Untie." So let's go around and talk about what we liked about the episode. Uh, Josh, why don't you start us off since Quinn, since Quinn started on the other ones? Um, I th I thought it, you know it felt like a very quick episode mm. because yeah. there's a lot of episodes like this that uh, so much time is spent on, I guess, like the journey. And then when you finally get to where the journey takes place, it's it's real quick. Yeah, it happens real quick. Um, I didn't I, I didn't feel like we got a lot as far as like plot moving on, but I thought that we got a lot. Um, like like I said, crescendoing towards something. It's a build else. up, definitely. Yeah, it was definitely a, like a foundation type episode. Mm -hmm. uh, that not to say that I didn't like it or I, or I liked it. I I thought it was. Uh, like some very like weird backstory kind of stuff, some sexual stuff that I don't yeah. I didn't know if I really understood. Mm -hmm. I agree um, but I loved the the one encounter and like fight scene that we did get. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's that's yeah. what kind of world we live in now. Yeah. yeah, that was that was actually my my biggest positive was that fight scene that gore when Rick just Oof. went right there yeah. and then Michonne went right there. I'm yeah. like, yes. when, Mich when Michonne drops that girl, yeah. oh, yeah. that was good. Gosh. I like that. Yeah. I think that was really solid. I also like the introduction of new characters and these characters, as as much as you can't really fully trust them, that judging from history of The Walking Dead, I, I'm enjoying the area that they're in. Even as creepy as Gregory is, mm. um, he is He's a close talker, isn't he? He just... Mm. He gets like, right up in your face. Like, dude, talker. brush the teeth. He's huh? like, I drink those eggies anytime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and I like that it, we had a little bit more of emphasis on Maggie and her situation, how strong she is, even though she questionably a secondary character at times, mm -hmm. you know, she, mm -hmm. she really put herself out there and she is just as strong and as a good talker as... I don't know the big three. Yeah, and she has some the big three. I like that. And she has something. Uh, hashtag big three. Yeah. She has. <laughs> she has so wait, do, do we think who is the big three then? Well, Michonne, Rick, and Daryl. No, or no, Michonne, Mich Rick, and Glenn. Uh, no, Rick, Glenn, Daryl. Rick, Glenn, Daryl. Oh. I guess forever and always. He tried to make this very clear. He tried to sneak uh, in the fourth with the I Michonne. I see that. I, I see would that. take Glenn out of there and put. 
What? I would put Daryl in there, absolutely. Glenn's so cool. No, Daryl's in there. Rick, Glenn, and Daryl? Yeah. I would take, no, I would take a Glenn out and put Michonne. I'm absolutely. Michonne. Team Quinn right yeah. there. Thank you. But, but yeah. what you're saying about uh, Maggie is great because this is, we've seen this been, we've seen this building for quite some time through Deanna's interactions with her mm -hmm. in the past season. And then we see, Okay, we see uh, Deanna like uh, Deanna was the one. Really had to breathe. Like, yeah. <laughs> Deanna pushing her to be, to embrace her leadership more, her leadership skills more. Mm -hmm. And there's been a bit of a vacuum now without anyone challenging Rick. Morgan went off on his Zen journey that he's went on, and so it's like we need someone who's going to step up. Michonne. Now we see Michonne is Rick's conscience in a way with with uh, her her fight conscience. But you need you need a peacetime concierge, and and that's what I think Maggie is. Just and she's got more to fight for now that she has a child. I like yeah. There's more invested. Yeah, concede. I hear Darth Vader, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you hear Darth Vader? Yeah. Guys. Oh, I'll behind us? Through. Oh, whatever. We, we got to do the show. Who cares what's <laughs> going on behind us? Um, oh, what did you enjoy, Quinn? Um, yeah, I, I, I liked that when it was time to show Gregory what they can do, they were able to do that because they had no leverage before. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's obvious that the people in, was it Barrington House? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sounds a little sounds a little pretentious. I don't know. I don't know how it's I like feel. That, about it's like be. that log cabin you went to on a field trip in high school or yeah. I mean grade school. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah. oh, we go to a log cabin and there's this woman that walks you through and she's like, yes, this is where they slept. Isn't it weird they slept on straw? And you're like, oh, this sucks. We got to make a report mm -hmm. on it. But yeah. now they're now we're here yeah. in the Walking Dead. And they're like, oh, welcome to the plantation. I just yeah. yeah, I like I like when Rick and his people are able to show like exactly what they can do. I don't like Gregory and I don't like how he's not taking them seriously when mm -hmm. he needs to. They could have dropped all the people there. Agreed. Okay. So was I like that. Is that, is that okay? <laughs> so that's what I liked about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, um, the the action um, and I do like I do think it is time that that we do that we are introduced to new characters because mm -hmm. yes. we lost a yes. bunch of people in Alexandria so yeah. and then you know they're kind of starting to rebuild now and so I think that this is the right time to to uh, start introducing and I also new like these characters mm -hmm. even though they're not necessarily fighters they there's a sense of um, a mo mental strength that was lacking in Alexandria mm -hmm. for me well. We're repeating, we're almost kind of repeating the same pattern, which is interesting because they're walking into a new, a, a little more built up, established settlement, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, and once again, there's kind of questions about the leader, which mm -hmm. Jesus said, he was like, Gregory was not the leader I would have chosen, but you know, he works for us for right now. He built this thing. And then you have people who aren't fighters. The same thing happened in Alexandria. You had a leader who, Deanna, who was a peacetime leader. She was not a wartime leader. How do these communities exist when nobody can fight? Well, like they, a good do they, they don't even know how to kill well, walkers. They're, they're living, they're living under people. the Negan regime. Yeah. Negan, Negan in his essence, That's is like a mob boss. He's like, mm -hmm. you pay for protection. It's legit. It's yeah, I'm just saying, did it take mob. Maggie saying, you know, he's you're going to get bullied until until you guys die. It took her saying that for them to realize that. I well, know, right? That's think, a little weird. I agree with you. I think there's saying. definitely a good point there, Quinn. But I think also sometimes when you have something and you, and you get used to the comfort of it, you're yeah. really scared to let it go. So you let yeah. it go a little bit of it if you can retain most of it. Or and at least Jesus half can of fight. It. So that's not completely true. Right. I guess Jesus it's not a community one. full of but people. But that's, that's why they sent him out ahead yeah. of time. Yeah. I'm pretty like. sure they like they already felt an inkling of something. Something's yeah. up with me. He's their chosen one. Yeah. Got it. I, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the settlement aspect of it. It it gave a good like symbolism of the fact that it was almost like back in the colonial times they're reestablishing well, a civilization yeah, where you sure. are reestablishing yeah. right right. Yeah. But this was so obvious because of the plantation house. Yeah. It gave you that vibe. If you've paid attention to American history class, you see those pictures or you see them the but things like, that are talked about. Remember yeah. when in, in when we got to uh, is it Waterbury? I think that's not Waterbury. Sure. Waterbury, sure. It's, sure. That's the Waterbury Open where Happy Gilmore is, where the governor <laughs> Wood, Woodbury? Woodbury. Thank you, God. <laughs> Waterbury. So many Come on, ago. Josh. Waterbury. God, I'm going to get crushed in the YouTube comments. <laughs> right. Um, I think, like, we, you know when you got to Woodbury, like, nobody nobody got close to the governor. There yeah. was a couple people. Gregory comes out of that house, and he's like, what happened? And then, shanked. Like, yeah. that wouldn't yeah. have happened there. There's people sitting around trailers in FEMA, and they're all sort of, like, wandering around. Like, yeah. it's mm -hmm. like, inside these walls, it's a utopia kind of a thing. And then all these people with weapons come in. It almost seemed like... These people had taken so much for granted, and they, like they wouldn't be sheepish when somebody walks True. in with English. It's just right. like Jesus being like, "These are my buddies." Really quick, Josh, what kind of weapons did they have? Uh, they had a lot of long spears. No, no, that's no, very no, interesting. No, 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 no. no, no. They, they had spears there. that were long spears. Spears. <laughs> long -ish. <laughs> long -ish. Long -ish. in size. Long-ish, long-ish. Okay, listen, they were spears. Definitely as close to the long spears as we've ever gotten on they? the show. So. I'm just saying <laughs> when they said. Take your spears down at the top of the thing. <laughs> Guys, was anybody else there thinking, Makuga's long spears? <laughs> Just saying. Oh, my goodness. Drink. Everybody drink every everybody time drink. he mentions it. 
<laughs> uh, the other thing I really enjoyed about this was the introduction of Gre you're right, the new settlers, Gregory, but also the stuff with Abraham. Abraham is quietly one of my favorite uh -huh. characters on the show Ooh. because he his journey is oh he, he's a very tortured guy from what happened with his mm -hmm. wife and his kids and when the apocalypse happened and how he reacted. He's quietly it, very underrated. Well, yeah, because yeah, he's got he this anger. He yeah. has this anger. He could at any point he could probably challenge Rick physically. Oh, but yeah. he's also you know what I'm apparently saying? or Daryl. He's also apparently a player. Well, he's getting all the ladies. We don't he know. Well, we don't know. Nothing is. Nothing was consummated with Sasha. He's had that Rosa oh, thing good since they've been on the nothing road was with Eugene. Sexually with Sasha, but but emotionally, yeah. Sasha and he yeah. are on that same plane. And that's what I like. They introduced this possibility of a triangle. Like, what does this mean for Abraham? This is one of the most unlikely guys to be involved in Truth. triangle, but it works. <laughs> because but yeah, he didn't push it with no, her either. With, with Sasha, guy. right? Because yeah. he's still yeah. trying to figure it out. Which is what that moment when he was getting choked. How awesome that moment was. Because for him. He was allowing himself as a physical, he could have easily gotten that guy off him, but he allowed it to happen because he wanted to see how close he'd come weird? to the end. Is it weird that I thought that like he and Rosa were into some like weird stuff sexually and she's like, he's like, I've been choked before, I can do it. <laughs> uh, no? All right, I'm out, I quit. Uh, folks, I quit. I quit. folks I quit. you don't get that what? on any other recap show. Yeah. Let me tell you that right now. Hey, that's the show. That's why we brought it back. Take a <laughs> lighter. Take a <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, Cody just walked away from the yeah. show. <laughs> Emotionally, <laughs> she is checked out now. Way to go. Um, and and I, did, I did like the way Gregory was asking information and bartering system. It's an introduction of yeah. a new a new set of parameters for them to work in, mm -hmm. and uh, which is a little different than Alexandria. Because in Alexandria, they kind of came in and tried to force their way in. This is they're trying to like, kind of maneuver and create a community. And almost like neighboring villages, which mm -hmm. is once again mm -hmm. a construct of, Colonial. of a civilization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. colonials. But also, when you know, when they went to Waterbury slash Woodbury, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> they like they try to assimilate themselves into this community. Yeah, this one they're like, we don't care, right. To assimilate, we, we have yeah. our thing. We have our thing. Yeah. Let's trade mm -hmm. and be like commonwealths, which is how right. colonialism kind of started. Um, which I, I don't know if I like or don't like. Well, I, I kind of respect that they have grown so much from previous seasons and now mm -hmm. they're like, we are our own, we don't want to share, we can trade, mm -hmm. but we are not trusting yeah. nobody, yeah. you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Oh, one, of the other, one of the last things I liked was that Maggie had an ominous comment when she said it's gonna cost us something. Mm -hmm. And if you've read the comic books and you know about Negan, you know what it could cost. Yeah. And what it could cost Maggie. Yeah. So yep, yep, yep. this is it is they they may have been doing a little foreshadowing there about the what picture. might be coming to a certain mm -hmm. big three person that these two love. Ah, so don't talk about anyway, that. uh so let's talk about what we didn't like. Cara, you wanna start? You know, honestly, i I felt like this uh episode, every part of the puzzle or the was essential to this episode. Mm -hmm. There's so there's really nothing I can really say. Oh, I did that part sucked. Even, you know, Abraham's delusional thing where he's going back and forth. Mm. I thought that was really important and we're going to see that snap coming up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And I think everything, it just fell really well together. I thought this was a solid episode. I really don't have anything negative to okay. say. Okay, mm -hmm. Josh? I think, I, I really like this episode on the whole. I think the one thing maybe in the series that I don't like sometimes is that when they're like, uh, the, the the place is a, dr a day's drive away. That's what Jesus said. Mm. Mm -hmm. They don't show the actual distance that they drive or like the time period. Mm -hmm. Would you really want to see the distance? No, that they no, drive? but I would like to see like, you know, like in Breaking Bad when they would show. 12 hours later. No, they would, show, they would show like the actual cooking of the meth mm. be an amazing mm. piece of cinematography, right? Mm. Or film editing. Sure. I feel like in this show they could do something like that because it's just like all of a sudden, oh, we're stuck in mud. Don't worry about it. We can walk from here. Boom, gates. Mm. But would you rather trade that then see long spears because they had to choose one well, during you're gonna see the I just long imagine the map regardless. and like the little van being like doo, 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 up the yeah, map like I this would, is where they like, went no but like an Indiana <laughs> yeah. Jones thing where it's just like the red line going across mm -hmm. like it would be nice to get <laughs> it would just it would be nice to get a little sense of geography yeah. in this whole thing that's okay. not bad that's, that's, not all, not that's bad. all I okay. wanted I, okay. all no. I ever worry about in shows like this is geography every, no 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 it, <laughs> the separation I love geography but the separation of where these places are via where we are in the world so you must get a hard on during the Game of Thrones Oh, intro. I love that stuff. <laughs> Through that whole I opening do. I'd song. like to know where I am based on where other people are. Because, like, in Arrow, in Arrow, yeah. right? They're like, oh, we're going to Nanda Parbat, and they just, like, all of a sudden they're there. That's Supposedly true. that's in Tibet. Yeah. That's like yeah. four hours' flight. Yeah. Like, in this one, they're like, it's a day's travel, and then all of a sudden they jump in the thing and they're there. I want to see some sort of mm -hmm. just, just relation because I don't know where it is. And I guess that, like, so, like, one day they're riding on the road, and the next day they run into Negan's people, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Where did Negan's people come from? I want to see where Negan's people are, where they're going. I, I'd like to see those, this think, whole thing. I think we should watch this right. and we should create a map. 
Done. I'm, I'm, as long as the map. map is created by me with a long spear yep. draw, yeah, yeah, I would yeah. I would venture that there is someone <laughs> online or a compendium we can go to online where they've done that already. I, I would imagine in the YouTube so. comments, some guy, because Rick's buddy, eight 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 four four four, is going to draw us a map. So thanks, guys. Done. <laughs> what did What did you not um, like? When, well, okay. Did you have anything? I, I did. I have I have one little thing. It's, yeah. it's dumb. No, you're not um, saying. Oh, here but we go. I, I just want to say the really, really quickly. I did like how they did build up the buzz around Negan. Because mm -hmm. like yeah, we've yeah. been waiting yep. and they're kind of building him up to these kind of like mythic kind of Agreed. like like a dark, you know, a dark dude. So I'm, I did like that. I will say that. Um, The only thing I have written in my notes is I don't find Abraham sexually appealing. There we go. We're gonna do this. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. I didn't. I didn't understand the beginning of the whole thing. I. I don't know what his. I, I've, I I'm not saying I don't like it. Look, some people like gingers, and that's fine. I'm not weighing like in on gingers. this at all. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He seems like a <laughs> decently sexual dude. I don't know. I, <laughs> that's nice. That's a com sorry. he's decently sexual. Abraham, call me up. I say. Can no, I like rewind? No comment. Rewind <laughs> back to what you what you started with with. Uh, what you were, what you said before the Abraham thing? Buzz around Negan. Yeah, the buzz okay. around Negan. <laughs> yeah. Um. We we've like, right before the mid season finale and all that stuff, we've been talking about like Negan coming. Yeah. And all this kind of stuff. And I'm really enjoying the fact that like they're sprinkling his name yeah, in here, mm -hmm. and now we're getting to it. It's sort of like mm -hmm. when when you you know like you hear certain friends talking about like oh have you have you met uh, Eric? Oh, Eric's a good dude. Oh, like your high school buddy. Are all buddies. of your friends British? What's no, going I don't on? Know. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but have you, you met Eric? Have you met Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's sorry. it's so cool that they're like creating this mythical being. Yeah. I can't wait to see him. I can't yeah. wait to see their compound. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the fact that there's going to be a legit war. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that they're so confident like we're going to kill him. Yeah. Like don't worry it's about like it. oh, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Might match your match. We'll yeah. see. It's it's going to it's um cuz they kind of did that a little bit with the governor where they mentioned it a little bit piece by piece People, but you didn't, you didn't know what he had there yeah. in that mm -hmm. compound. And they're going to lose some people. Right, yeah. yes. Yeah, this, I sure. think we all sense that that's coming, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean, I, I think yeah. that's what's, what, what we're looking forward to. And you can tell, by the way, Rick, I mean, the fact that he's just saying, you know, we don't have a problem with confrontation. There's there's a bit of cockiness there. Can you which is Rick, Rick again? I mean, <laughs> we ain't afraid of confrontation. Uh, and I like, I like the way he does this. <laughs> I like the way he's listening. He's like, Oh yeah, he always he's half high. When he or gets up after he's full of that guy's blood, and he's like, "What?" Yeah, he's it's like, like what's, yeah, "What are you looking at?" His bloody beard is the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I there, mean, there's such bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, mean, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, I'm no, just no, saying, like, another indication that there's going to be deaths and yeah. something really brutal is how happy they were in the trailer, looking at the right. picture of the baby. Right. Of the baby, yeah. yeah. Oh, Even Daryl had a smirk. Whenever yeah. I see happiness, smirk. you're like, "Oh, this is not going to last." Yeah. That, that was a cool thing too. Daryl and Abraham. There made a little scene where Daryl said, "Oh, you think stuff settled." Yeah. Like, because he, he was like, "Do you ever think of settling down?" He's like, "Shit's not settled," and yeah. it's it's that's so. It's you get that. So, yeah, Daryl. Daryl will never be. <laughs> Daryl will not feel at home or comfortable. Or that's at why Daryl will everywhere. survive, though. Yeah, exactly. He does. He's need, he does need his constantly ready to go. Um, all right, let's uh, let's uh, let's get some Twitter questions. Yeah. All right, yeah. I got this. I got this. All right, <laughs> here comes. So today we only have two questions. Okay, that's okay. okay. Um, not four. All right, cool. Not four. Not five. But two. <laughs> Okay, first Reason question. Yeah. Like By Daniel Koss <laughs> at DKPKP, okay. would you follow Jesus? A uh, short answer, yes. I, I don't know. He, listen, I've always, I said it when you're watching the show, and I've said it to all my friends since I started watching the show. I don't trust the fact that they're in the middle of the like of Georgia, and it's hot most of the year, and somebody's always wearing a snow hat. I don't like it. A and a duster. A duster <laughs> and a snow hat and like long sleeves. But they're just throwing no, a bit wait, is what. Okay. Okay. Who's wearing a snow hat? No, Jesus wears a snow hat. It's a beanie. Uh, it's a beanie. Yeah. It's what not not a Tyrese snow hat? Tyrese we call them snow hat. I don't know what they call it. Tyrese wears snow hat. Tyrese wears snow hat. Yes. Do we have snow, hat? snow hat? Yeah, have snow in California? Some perb no, snow hats there, buddy. It's a snow hat. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we call it in Pittsburgh. <laughs> you got perb snow hats there. But there's something like when he takes off and his hair is perfectly coiffed and straightened. But just, but just by the way he like carries himself and he's like he's he's even keel across the board and he's sort of like the guy that. Kept Morgan in line that mm -hmm. like taught Morgan how to oh, be yeah, a human yeah. being and the white fanged him. Yep. Mm -hmm. You trust them. You just mm -hmm. trust them immediately and I would follow him. Yep. All right. Hmm. Would you follow? Would I follow him? I mean, I guess I'm still, there's still so many questions that need to be answered. Like, why is he, why, where did he attain these skills? Sure. Yeah. Like, I don't know anything about him. So I, I'm still ninja. apprehensive. He's a, he's a ninja. He's a ninja. <laughs> I agreed. What about you? Would you follow him? I think so. I think um, considering the situation that they were in where Alexandria was completely destroyed, they really didn't know where else to go and they needed, you know, more supplies and yeah. stuff. They pretty much have no choice. And also the mentality that they have that they can pretty much kick any group's ass. Yeah. yeah Which they not? can. 
Yeah. So well, far. no, wait, but would you follow Jesus? That's my yeah. As as the mentality was, uh, is Rick, or do you think there? Are you, oh, you mean Jesus' mentality? I, uh, I think. Well, I, the way I understood the question was, yeah. would you follow him and like trust him enough to go to that? Plantation. Oh, that's right, what right, that's right. what he's asked. That's yeah. the question. I yeah. Would, I, yeah. 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 I would not follow. Oh, I see, I took it as following to the next. I wouldn't follow Jesus because Jesus, there's a reason they send him out ahead of time to look at everybody because Jesus is not someone you follow. He's Jesus, a runner. You ride or die with Jesus. You don't follow Jesus. Like he's yeah. a good partner. He's not someone you follow. Hmm. So in my mind, that's how I took the question. Would you Darryl. follow him as a thing? I, but the but the I thing will. is like, he's, so, not a, he's not a leader. So right. I don't think I would take it that question that way because as he's not a leader, right, exactly. there's not a following to follow him in absolutely. that context right absolutely yeah i think it's more like do you trust would you trust him yes yeah, i trust him to follow absolutely him. now to follow <laughs> although, right, although one word is, answer across the board he says we follow jesus yes, yes. yes. all right so yes. No. okay no uh so uh, the, so three yeses and a no three yeses and a no the Roca. savior's thing the savior's thing is interesting too negan and the saviors yeah if it was carol i'd follow carol too <laughs> yes. i would come into the Irvine Spectrum. <laughs> it's Negan and the Savior. <laughs> there's would be a great death metal band. Yeah. <laughs> but like the idea of Jesus and the Saviors and Negan, like there's, it's interesting. It's just interesting what's playing oh, so out. So you think Negan? Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, okay. What's your second question? <laughs> you Carl? read Our the second comics, question you know. of the night. Um, you want to read it by with your accent? That was pretty sure. phenomenal, right what, here. Which one? The top right there. Of the main group. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Who should die next? Hashtag it, Collider Walking Who, Dead. Who's the Twitter guy? Who's, the ha who's uh, his handle? At Colt Baldo. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Colt. All right. Of the main group, uh, who should die next? I don't think there's a should. Like, oh. I don't know if, like, oh, this person should die, but okay. it could die, meaning anybody. You but would love to see Rosa die. I mean, it doesn't mean that she should. Okay. And that doesn't mean I would love to see her die, but I mean, she's kind of more of a dis, uh, more of a dispend. If she's going to die, it would be yeah. like, meh. You would That's have a problem. Thing. It wouldn't yeah. really, like, it'd be like, oh, oh, no. Yeah. Okay. That's sad. Like, All right. I don't know. Yeah, so again, there's no one you think should die next. I don't think so. Okay. okay. Josh? Uh, I, yeah, again, I don't think, I don't know, should die, but I think in like a, a, a linear thing of, of where we are in this show, the darkness of where it goes, I'm thinking, oh, they're going to kill Maggie. Dang. They're gonna kill the next generation. They're gonna kill Maggie. They're gonna kill a baby. That's too bad. But you know things. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you know? Uh, okay. Nothing. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Tell me everything. <laughs> um, I, based on, I'm just gonna go off of like based on the the three episodes we've seen. I'm nervous for Abraham. Yeah. Something yes. weird with him. No. He's acting weird. He's letting himself get choked he's into out. That weird Losing his mind. He's, get, he's getting into weird stuff. I don't know. Yeah, yeah this is, this is uh, that was going to be my answer too. Yeah. So that's a good answer because, because every, it, you were no, say no, no, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm going to say it like that. You know, all your answers were great. I was just saying for me, it, it makes logical sense because every time a new a new kind of warrior comes in, the old one gets phased out. Uh, Tyrese got phased out yep. uh, after Abraham really established himself. Now that we have Jesus, it could be possible that Abraham could get phased out, mm -hmm. and they're kind of laying little groundwork that he's got some emotional stuff he's going through. Mm -hmm. They're now, making you like him more. Yeah, which is always the death knell for any character yeah. not really in the number one main uh, group. So exactly. Abraham would probably be much. I don't say that he should. Well, I guess I don't want to say he should because I don't want him to go, but it seems logical that he will be the next one. Agreed. All right. All right, so is that is that everything? Do we, yes, is that all, that's everything. all right, well, We're we good. have talked uh, ad nauseum about the show. We loved it so much tonight, the episode, and we hope you all enjoyed it as well. As always, please leave us comments on YouTube and uh, and follow us and subscribe. But let's go around the table now. Uh, where can everybody find you, Quinn? Uh, Twitter, at Quinn Marie underscore. I'm super duper excited to talk about Walking Dead again. Yeah. <laughs> Coward. Hey, you can follow me right uh, down there at The Walking Dead. Just kidding. At K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S <laughs> at Kaori. It's right down there. Also, follow me on my YouTube channel because I need it to grow or Twitch everything <laughs> anywhere, anywhere. I'm trying to build a brand Solid here. Pitch, Cody. Hey, Solid pitch, Cody. Josh. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, follow me at Josh McCougar on Twitter and Instagram. My channel, uh, Between the Sheets TV. I want to just say to the group, so excited to be back with right? you guys. Yes. I, I really Lassie. did. The yes. first two episodes, I missed being with you guys. Yeah. Uh, I love. Thank too. you guys, all the people that tweeted at us and 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 tweeted the show because we love hearing from you yeah. guys. Hashtag Clatter Walking Dead and uh, just awesome to be back with you guys. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm John Roca. Josh took everything I was going to say. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys can follow right, me at the Roca says. That's my homage to the Rock as always. Um, yeah, I agree with everything Josh said. Actually, in reality, thank you guys so much for for commenting and tweeting at us to to want us to come back 
and they brought us back. We're, we're so happy to be back and to be communicating with you all over Twitter and especially on YouTube, what have you. Um, and we hope to keep going to the end of the season. So yes. we'll see how it goes. Totally. And it depends on you guys and you guys viewing us. So please keep watching. Tell your friends. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and we will see you all next week.